We're gonna talk about growing uh, 300 bushels. Don't have to tell you guys why we need to grow 300 bushel corn. The short is we need to feed and fuel a growing population with less land area. I'm Fred Bilo. I'm a crop physiologist with the University of Illinois. We're on the Urbana campus here. Uh, where, where I'm talking about some of our research designed to identify a formula for growing 300 bushel corn. And to devise that formula, we wanted to know what was the relative impact of various management practices that individually impacted crop yield. And that's where the seven wonders of the corn yield world come in. I, myself, have seen 300 bushels 25 years ago when Herman Warsaw grew what was then the record yield. He did it largely through crop management. So uh, I've tried ever since, haven't seen 300 bushels since then, but I've learned a lot about crop yield and about factors that affect crop yield. And that's, that led to the concept of the seven wonders of the corn yield world. How did we come up with the, with the seven wonders? The, the, the seven wonders really represents a sort of mini meta-analysis of, uh, of a career's worth of research. Uh, after working on high yield for 25 years, I, I finally realized that almost all of our studies and almost all of the factors that affect crop yield fall into one of these categories. The, the, certainly seven sounds like a fancy number, um, but it's more based on the magnitude of the yield difference. Um, if you look at the seventh wonder, it's worth 10 bushels and very difficult to demonstrate scientifically a factor that's less than 10 bushels. So I struggle with what the eighth wonder is, but the eighth wonder clearly has a value less than 10 bushels, which is going to be hard to quantify when we're growing 300. So I'm sure there are other factors that are important in crop yield, but these are the top seven that I can demonstrate scientifically. 